We know that about one in five people have anxiety issues to the extent uh, that it interferes with their day-to-day -day lives. We also know that in general almost everybody has anxiety on a daily basis, most of which we deal with successfully. Anxiety is one of those issues that many of us often come in for counseling and say, I just want the anxiety to go away. But in actuality, we don't want the anxiety to go away. We just want to be able to control it. After all, if we're walking in the woods and a bear jumps out of the bushes, we want anxiety to prep us for what's about to happen. It's where we jump into that fight or flight response. Uh, we want to be able to instantly react to whatever threat is around us. Uh, it's a natural reaction and our body does it all the time. Unfortunately, many times we're unaware of what things set us off. Uh, but your brain does a terrific job of alerting you to threats in your environment. And those threats are what we often see as anxiety because a threat means I need to be aware. Your brain taps you on the shoulder sometimes nicely, not, sometimes not so nicely, to alert you that anxiety has um, become a presence due to a threat in your life. And that threat, unfortunately, can be a bear charging out of the woods, or it could be a, a pop quiz in your class, or a, an engagement to speak publicly, or even just driving down a busy road, or trying to talk to somebody about an uncomfortable topic we experience these threats in our lives, our brain activates the sympathetic nervous system which activates many um, physical signs in our life. Uh, your heart begins to beat faster, pumping blood through your body. Um, your lungs begin to pump in more oxygen, getting a steadier and faster pace of bringing in oxygen to be able to fight or flight. Uh, you um, stop digesting. Uh, after all, a threat isn't a time to have a snack. It's a time to engage and do what we uh, need to do to protect ourselves. Uh, and our body goes into kind of a hyper state where even mentally we begin to focus not so much on other things but trying to, to determine just exactly what's before us that is a threat. So when we talk about anxiety, one of the issues that we often need to understand is that it's there for a purpose. It helps you. It's anxiety is part of your um, built-in mechanism. If you have, if you're driving down the street and a red light pops on on your your uh, dashboard, you don't go, "Oh no, give me some tape. I need to cover that up. I don't want to see that warning light going off." Instead, we go, "Oh, I need to do something. There's a problem," and that's the way our anxiety system should. Um, be perceived. Not so much that it's inconvenient and I don't want to experience anxiety, but that I have anxiety for a reason. It's there to protect me.